Hello everybody and welcome to my review of the uh, 36 to 79 inches lighting stand by Newer. Now I'm going to quickly go through the specs with you guys and then I'm going to show you how well how it works and I'm going to tell you how, how, what my, you know, how it performed up. Now uh, first of all as I was saying it measures 36 to uh, 79 inches in height and uh, which is 92 to 200 centimeters so it goes up to 2 meters. Uh, they say it's heavy duty and they say that its load, loaded capacity is up to 17.5 pounds which is uh, 8 kilograms. Now uh, personally I've tested it with you know with flash guns and small umbrellas and it's fine with that. You can put you know you can you can use it to you know put reflectors on it anything that's light enough will, you will be fine. However I've tried it also with my as, as the uh, advertising as you know as working with a you know strobes as well in soft boxes. Well I've tested it out with a uh, my studio strobe in a large soft box and I can tell you it does not support that because you can literally see the uh, lighting stand actually bending. The other thing is, is advertised as having a low capacity, capacity of 8 kilograms and I just do not believe that to be true because I've got a heavy duty lighting stand by Manfrotto that's most definitely started in this one and it's advertised to have the same load of capacity so I do see that as quite impossible. Now uh, as you can see there it's, you're going to have uh, the, the colours there are made of plastic and you've got well two tightening screws there, one and two. So you've got the top, you've got the top section there, and you're gonna have one more section there. Okay, it's not a cushion, but that's not a major issue. You just got a spring inside, so when it falls down, you're gonna feel the spring there. And it's got a third tightening screw there, so you just you pop the one open, and then you just open it. One thing I have to say: the more I use it, the more difficult it's gonna it's becoming to actually open and close it. It's gonna become it's just becoming stiffer and stiffer the more I use it. And the other thing is, I've got three of these, and with one of them, the tightening screw at the bottom there broke after a couple of weeks. So it's not particularly great quality. And one more thing we, we will notice, it, when you open it, you tighten the screw there, and if you wiggle it a little bit, you will see that moves not particularly solid, okay? And if you actually push it all the way to the end, okay, like that, so fully extended, you will see the tube actually moving a fair amount, it does not feel particularly safe. Okay, uh, so that, yes, in that, that, that one now broke pretty much immediately, but the other two have had it for over a year and it still works. So, uh, as I was saying, if you need to use it with light uh, equipment, it's, so with equipment that's not particularly heavy, you should be fine. So if you want to use it with a flash gun and an umbrella, you should be okay. But if you want to, or if you want to, you can put reflectors on them, which is what I normally use them for. But if you need to do anything, put anything heavier on them, you, I, I would definitely not recommend them. So just for comparison, this one is a heavy duty uh, light stand by Manfrotto, and that's one, the one from New York, and it's advertised as having the same load capacity as their one, and I just really struggle to believe that. And you will notice an example with the Manfrotto, when you pull up one of the sections, okay, if you try and wiggle this one here, that is solid, it does not not move at all, okay, it's, it's got metal collars there, in this much thicker as well and when I put heavy equipment on this one here it does not bend at all when however I put any sort of heavy equipment on this one here it does uh, it does bend the other thing is this one here has got a much bigger footprint when it's open as compared to that one and which means that if you've got a big softbox and the new and the newer you if you even if, if you have not stand back there okay you, if you just even just if you just touch the soft box you will just gonna tip over whereas with this one here even without a sandbag which is not recommended anyway but even without the sandbag it's still not gonna tip over even if you try and push it so it's not it's not nearly as stable as an actual heavy duty lighting stand now the plus of these uh, small lighting stands is that they are they're a little bit more portable but even even so, they're not. I mean, they're not hugely portable. I mean, yes, you can fit them on the side of your bag, so you know it's easy enough. But they still stick out a fair amount. But yes, you can fairly easy. It's fairly easy to bring them with you. And the other thing, the other thing to keep in mind, even though two meters might sound like it goes particularly high, in reality, as an example, if you want to use some sort of lighting where the lights coming from the top and the, and the person you're taking a photo of is is, high, is tall and you know and you need to extend it to the maximum height you've got a big softbox 
it's still not gonna be high enough. And on top of that, being quite flimsy, when if you've got a big softbox in it, especially when it's fully extended, it will just bend a huge amount. It will okay, so to conclude with, they're most definitely not heavy duty. And uh, if you know if you need to use them with you know studio strobes and you know like you know large soft boxes and any sort of you know heavy equipment, I would most definitely not recommend them. If, however, you only need them to be used with um, you know flash guns, small umbrellas, or you know to put reflectors on them, they might you know they're going to do the job okay. But it's still you know uh, if you can afford something that's a little bit better quality than these, I would still recommend to see a clear or these ones and buy something else personally. And you know, I hope you guys you guys have enjoyed the review. And should you have any questions, do feel free to pop those in the comment section down below. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.